Haji Yusufwale is known as the grandfather of technicians. He has his business in Kampala, the capital of Uganda. Male has made fame out of a challenging childhood and becomes a specialist in repairing radio and television. Male, a school dropout, started to learn all his skills on his own. Binti yangu hii ndikuwa nafanya anga nayo. Binti yangu inaribika. I learned the skills through repairing my own music equipment. If they get default, I open them, look very careful how they are, then I repair the parts. I make soldering to the tone parts and everything went perfect. In the 1990s, I extended to TV repairing. With all the hardships he passed through, Male had his stamina to check them all and became a successful businessman. He was even able to raise a family of 10, pay school fees and university expenses for his children. The progress he has made is enough for him to convince other young Ugandans to take his job as a career that can improve their life. This job is very good. Others are helping their children with money. You educate your children. It is a very good job. You become economically stable. You get a wife, children. It is really a good job. Hussein Semogrere knew Male for a long time, as well as his uncle. For him, once a TV get default, he obviously knows where to go. They are confident with the services from Mali. They have been his clients for many years. For him and the other people in Uganda, where two-thirds of the population is said to be vulnerable to poverty, TV repairing is relatively important as buying new ones is a compromise. It's very difficult to buy the TVs, the, the brand new TV sets. No matter what, we, it is, we find it very expensive to buy every time when we get the power frustration, then we get the problem. So it, it, I find it very difficult to go and to buy the new screen so high. It would be simple for me to bring the TV to him and I, okay, I pay some little money to do some repairs which doesn't cost me much as buying the brand new TV. The calling from his background, Malik cannot be selfish. That is why he has turned his workshop into a classroom. There, he is passing his skills to people with a poor background. Already about 100 students have graduated from this workshop. They are now in different parts of the country serving the community. This is an important initiative to a country with records of persistent unemployment. Feedbacks from where his former students are working motivates a passion for Mali to continue with the voluntary work in dealing with the menace of poverty. I feel prestige once I hear that my former students are perfectly serving people in various places. I do get feedback from the same people that my boys are doing well. Their TVs get repaired and they can watch channels from Germany and other places. Godfrey Kialimpa is one of the first Mali students. Together with the skills from Mali, Kialimpa also acquired a passion of teaching other people and hence composing a second generation of students. His strength from Mali is more than just getting skills. After I get the skill from him, I try to, to teach even my friends. I have many friends, like 20. Since then, I can manage my family. 
I can pay school fees for my children. But we are still getting a little money because every day the expenditure, every day it increased. Kialimpa and the others run a beehive of workshops at Kitwe, a suburb in Kampala City. From time to time, Kialimpa visits his former student, Alexis Heru. They do meet to assist each other in cases of complicated assignments. Both, and like many others, face the challenges of substandard spare parts which have flooded the Ugandan market. The situation sometimes conflicts them with their clients. The fake spare parts disturb us a lot when we are repairing devices or equipment. Because since they are fake, when you fix them in a machine, it destroys the machine completely. Even it cannot work again, it can refuse to work again completely. Male is also a member of the Uganda Technicians and Information Technology Association. From his experience, Male is the key member to the organization. The organization shares with Male in the vision to enhance young men with skills that can improve their productivity. Here, the management committee meets to discuss some challenges faced by its members. Andrew Yiga is the executive director of the organization. Technologies and evolution keep on changing every now and then. And now the technologies we are using here come from the Far East. And they keep on changing every now and then. At first, we are, we are in solid state. We solid state, I mean transistors and that kind of stuff. Then we went to, uh, we, went to we came to uh, CRT technology. Then from there now we are on LCD, LEDs. The organization has approached Uganda Technology and Management University to seek solution to some of their challenges. Professor Venasiusi Barrio Mureba is the vice chancellor of the university. To him, the technicians are forgotten innovators and economic drivers, and his university has planned for them. On the side of the university, we are coming in now as Uganda Technology and Management University to assess their level of skills and certify them. Some of them will get certificates, others will get diplomas, others will get degrees. And in the process of certification, we are going also to ask them to take some courses. Today, Male meets an old friend, Musa Marijan. Male and Marijan know each other for almost three decades. They are both technicians and are waiting for the university certification. Marijan remembers Male as a shoe shiner or even a radio DJ. And this is the career he used as a conduit in learning the skills he is possessing now. He was a very famous DJ, Hajimale, during those times. He could tell all kinds of songs, B, Michael Jackson, Lingala, or any type. You know, to be a DJ, you need to be skillful. At 67 years of age, with 30 years of service as a technician, Male now thinks of a retirement soon. But as a grandfather, he was a feeling of the then missing young technicians when he retired. In their side, the young technicians called him Swaga, means they appear. I have taught a number of young men. I have taught many people. I urge them to work. It is time for me to rest as I am getting old. The young generation need to work hard. That's where their future is, says Mali. He will remain a great legacy that Kampala needs to paint.